Hi guys, in this video we are going to concentrate on how to use the adaptive cards in the copilot, right? So what does the K, what does this, uh, what is it, adaptive card means, right? So let's go dive into adaptive cards. So if I go to my uh, copilot first, right? So over here, uh, we were displaying the information in purely in text format, right? But uh, in copilot there are the provision to add uh, details which are in like uh, image videos basic card adaptive card and quick replies right so what we are going to use is adaptive card and its samples are given over here so there are various type of uh, you can see the like calendar or flight rated food ordered restaurant stocks weathers and you can also create your own by using the designer okay so these are the basic samples they have given uh, for us uh, we will be using something called uh, flight update uh, there are a few details which we will remove right uh, since we don't have anything related to passenger uh, nor related to the time or time or right, okay let's remove the time also uh, so what we will do is first I will go over here and add a adaptive card so once i do that i get something like edit json and this thing so what i will do is i will copy this template json uh, for this flight update right i will copy it over here so make a notice of this step because this is where the things get changed once i do the json right i have to make it convert into the formula so once i click into formula this whole JSON converts into formula where uh, the double quote and all this thing gets changed, right? I will click over here. Now what I will do is I will modify the things uh, which are not required or according to my things, right? So we are getting values like a flight status, right? So how to use that? Uh, so we don't require passengers, right? Uh, so I will remove the passengers details. Uh, 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 uh. So this whole section I will remove. Okay, and the flight, uh, flight number we will have, right? So flight number how to get the flight number so you have to give something like topic uh, so this topic will come and in that uh, user enter flight number so that is the flight uh, and then departure airport airport and this will be again topic dot uh, departure airport right similarly arrival airport and the value will be uh, topic dot arrival port right uh, and then we don't require this details right so I will remove this part also. Uh, okay. Where we will give the flight status delayed. Okay, so over here we will change it to uh, topic dot flight status. Okay. So now what we have done is remove uh, certain parts which we don't need and change the value to our values which we are getting or we are using in the bot right uh, let me change few more things so over here the color right uh, so if we go to the uh, I think in the schema yeah in the schema if I select the text block uh, mm -hmm. I will see the color what type of colors is supported so if you see we have this many colors are supported right so i want uh, the status to be good right so i will select and uh, make it good 
currently it was attention which was red we don't want red and what i will do is make uh, our uh, flight number do we have color no we don't have color we have departure airport uh, color where is the color it is red we will change it to blue and this one also blue okay all done so if you get this tick mark right after editing all this thing it means that your schema is perfect there is no modification you have to do i will just click save over here and once it gets saved what i will do is i will test it out flight status uh, what is the flight number so we will use the same flight number that we have and once we get back the response it should have both uh, the adaptive one adaptive card one and the uh, text one the text one is up, up above and this is the one where we use the adaptive card a uh, little bit details on the adaptive card just to add over here uh, as you can see the samples are there right many samples are there for food delivery and then restaurant orders and in that also there are certain actions that you can do right you can have a drop down selection over there and uh, you can have something called uh, validation and i think uh, somewhere i saw that you can perform the activity mm, is it sporting event i was seeing not this one this look nice Mm, let me see order confirmation place order yeah see over here uh, is giving us a pop-up because that is what has been configured over here to give an alert but over here what you can do is perform a back-end operation and whatever the activities you require based on the once user place particular action button items okay uh, we can divide this into categories okay so there are card elements then there are container where you design the whole flow which is goes into container if you click any of the item what to do so those are actions and these are the inputs that you can either use in the form base or in the container and what are the inputs to collect like text number and all this thing and these are the types which are already available to you like if you there is a refresh button the authentication button background image button odd card button and all these buttons are available to you uh, which perform certain functionalities okay these are the types that you can include in a container and these are the actions when you click to have any of those what to do right uh, basically to the buttons or to the drop down or all those things and these are basically the uh, type of the uh container like it you can have a container then or you can have a table uh whatever the preferred way and this is for the ui part right that you can have a text block image media media will be like uh, showing uh video like this over here so there are various examples available in the adaptive card to make a, a particular design as per your required and again you can use the designer element over here uh, where you can just click over here and let's say if you want a table right over here you can drag and drop the table it gets updated with the json which you have in the below so this is how you can leverage the adaptive card uh, yeah so that is all from this adaptive card video and how to use in to our co-pilot hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day